Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about the derivation of match filter frequency response. In the previous video, when I was introducing the match filter, I have explained about, I uh, have considered the match filter frequency response as H of F. So H of F is equal to G A S star of F exponential of minus j 2 pi f t 1. So we have assumed h of f as the match filter frequency response and stated that this expression is given as g a s star of f exponential of minus j 2 pi f t 1. But we did not discuss how we have got this expression. Now in this video I will explain how to derive this match filter frequency response like this h of f is equal to something. Now, in order to solve this, in order to get this expression, there are two types of methods actually available. One is calculus method, calculus of variations. So, one method is, one method to obtain h of f is calculus of variations calculus of variations and other method is another method is squares inequality theorem squares inequality theorem so here our matched filter frequency response h of f is going to be derived using this method squares inequality theorem okay so what do you mean by ratio that is nothing but uh, uh, what do you mean by matched filter which type of filter is said to be a matched filter matched filter is nothing but it is a filter or it is a network whose signal to noise ratio improves whose uh, resp frequency response improves the signal to noise ratio. So matched filter from the definition of matched filter, matched filter is nothing but is a network whose frequency response whose frequency response improves the whose frequency response improves the peak signal to mean noise ratio peak signal to mean noise ratio so that ratio we are taking it as rf is equal to mod s not of t max square divided by n divided by n see the ratio of the ratio of peak signal to mean noise is nothing but that is the match filter frequency response that improves this ratio actually peak signal to mean noise ratio s not of t max square by n okay so n is nothing but mean noise and s not of t is nothing but s not of t is the output signal we are receiving a signal s of t that when passing through the receiver, they, it becomes S0 of T. So, max, why we are taking max is nothing but we are taking the maximum peak. Okay. Now, what could be the expression for this S0 of T? So, S0 of T is nothing but output signal. Maximum value of output signal. Output signal. So, which can be expressed as S0 of T mod is equal to mod integral minus infinity to infinity s of f into h of f s of f into h of f exponential of j 2 pi f t into df exponential of j 2 pi f t into df so this is nothing but the output voltage of the filter with frequency response of h of f 
So the output voltage of the filter with frequency response H of F. This is H of F integral minus infinity to infinity S of F H of F exponential of J 2 pi F T D F. Okay. Now mean noise. Mean noise N. Mean noise N can be written as N naught by 2 integral minus infinity to infinity mod h of f square df this is the mean noise okay so now if you substitute these two values s naught of t and n in our ratio peak signal to mean noise ratio rf then it becomes like this see it is actually s naught of t but in the maximum peak signal to mean noise ratio we are having maximum value this becomes maximum when t becomes t1 okay s naught of t becomes maximum when this t becomes t1 okay so now substitute this value in rf rf is equal to modulus of integral minus infinity to infinity s of f h of f exponential of j 2 pi f t 1 d f divided by n naught by 2 integral minus infinity to infinity modulus of h of f square d f ok now in order to solve this see it is now in unsolvable condition ok now we need to do some manipulation in order to do some manipulation we need some calculus of vectors method or another thing is what is that squares inequality theorem okay we need to apply now squares inequality theorem so from squares inequality theorem from squares inequality theorem what is that if p and q are two complex functions let us assume that if p and q are two complex functions if 2 and q are p and q are two complex functions then see here integral p star p dx integral q star q dx greater than or equal to it is inequality okay that's why it is greater than or equal to modulus of integral p star q dx mod square okay that means the integration of complex value multiplied by normal value again integration of complex value multiplied by normal value is greater than or equal to integration of p star into q p star is nothing but complex conjugate of p similarly q star is nothing but complex conjugate of q okay so when it is become equal it is actually inequality condition when the when this equation becomes equal so the equality condition occurs when p is equal to kq okay k is nothing but some constant k is nothing but a constant okay so now assume in order to simplify our rf assume p star is equal to s of f exponential of j 2 pi f t 1 ok now we are equating this we are equating this expression like uh, uh, this one especially this one ok integral p star q dx now we are assuming this p star as s of f exponential of j 2 pi f t 1 and q is equal to h of f so if you assume in this way then you can easily substitute 
P star P and Q star Q. And we also know that, we also know that integral P star P dx is equal to mod P square dx. Nothing but if you multiply any value with its complex conjugate, then it becomes a modulus square because magnitude remains and phase cancels. That's why it is mod square. Okay. So now substitute this in our uh, equation. So we will have RF becomes now it is less than or equal to because the equation is reversing. So RF less than or equal to after substitution integral minus infinity to infinity mod H of F square DF integral minus infinity to infinity mod S of F square DF divided by so in the denominator we are not changing the value denominator is as it is n by n not by 2 integral minus infinity to infinity mod h of f square df that's it see here just we have assumed this one this condition is already there on the equation of when we are assuming this and this now the equation which is there in rf equal to this one now we are just rearranging this equation with that Okay, so RF is coming over here, that's why it is less than or equal to. Now, this value, again this value cancel what we have now. <coughs> Integral minus infinity to infinity mod S of F square DF divided by N naught by 2. Okay, so that is equal to from Parsifal's theorem we can say that from Parsifal's theorem integral minus infinity to infinity S of t mod square df is equal to in terms of time domain S of t square dt is equal to you can call it as energy of the signal signal energy that is nothing but e so simply rf is less than or equal to n naught by 2 so 2 becomes 2 comes into the numerator 2 e naught sorry 2 e by n naught 2 e by n naught this is the ratio Okay, so finally, the matched filter frequency response expression we have obtained with the Squartz inequality theorem and thereby we also state that the ratio RF is less than or equal to 2E by N0. Now, what I told you, um, equality occurs, equality occurs when P is equal to KQ, equality occurs when P equal to KQ. So, what is P from the assumptions, what is P? Where here? See, P is nothing but P star is equal to this one. P star is equal to this one. Then what happens? What about the P? I will write here. P is equal to S star of F exponential of star becomes minus. Minus J 2 pi F T 1. Okay. And Q is nothing but H of F. So, substitute the same here. So, P is nothing but S star of F is equal to S star of F exponential of minus J 2 pi F T 1 that is equal to K into H of F. Okay, if you just rearrange this equation, we have got H of F is equal to 1 by K. We are writing it as some other constant K. G A S star of F exponential of minus j2 pi f t1 okay so this is the expression for the matched filter frequency response which we are writing when equality condition is considered okay g a is nothing but some constant like g a we can say g a is equal to 1 by k 
okay so this is what the expression for the match filter frequency response using schwarz inequality theorem thank you